Hey guys, my name's Kai. And I'm Chrissy. And thank you so much for coming back to our channel. Uh, we know we've been gone for like quite some time. Well, we ain't gonna talk about that though. <laughs> so we're just gonna talk about today. So today, <laughs> we are here, we are back in action, and we're back with a surprise for you. We have a special guest. And she's a beautiful model. She has worked with many, many brands. Um, she has also worked with some of your favorite fashion icons for their campaigns. So you might want to stay tuned and watch this video. Okay, guys. So this is our special guest, Abram. What made you want to get into modeling? Actually, modeling was kind of accidental. So I did really? this like, yeah, I did this like runway show, and I was like, okay, this is cool. And you then just I did found it for out, fun. just for fun. I did it for my boss actually. She had an old clothing store. And I was like, okay, this is fun. I got kind of got pressured into it. It's like this is fun. And then I don't know. I was like, people actually like make money off of this, so like can make it a living. No, seriously. And so I was like, okay, let me try to get signed. And Lord, that was a struggle. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but that's kind of how I got into it, and I like fell in love with it. So I ended up working out. Dang. When I was younger, I wanted to be a model, and then um, I did it for like a month, and I was like, um, yeah, no. <laughs> I made the little comp car, and I was like, yeah, nah, sis. <laughs> I used to be one too, but. I'm so short, so. I feel like that's every mo every girl's dream be a mm -hmm. model, a, a model freaking like princess yeah. or something. Yeah, it's so <laughs> doable, like it's 100 yeah. doable. And the height is like not, mm -mm. it's not really that big of a requirement. That does not matter anymore. There's no. like girls like five one. All those fashion mod fashion nova models, they're all like really yeah, short. Yeah, there's a girl um from my agency. She's five four. Really. Really? Yeah. Totally you. It's it's all about how you First photograph. Of First of all, you're five, five three. First of all, you're five, five three. Five, five. She's five three, y'all. Five, five. She's a liar. We'll settle. I'm let her have four. the extra. <laughs> like, give, let her have it. <laughs> but no, she's five four. But I think it's all about how you photograph. You mm -hmm. photograph tall, and it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to um, book your first like campaign? I guess. Um. Well, so I started modeling when I was like fifteen, fifteen and a half. I didn't get signed to my first agency until I was like 23, mm -hmm. and then left that agency and got signed again when I was 25. So I guess my first campaign was my NYX campaign, which I had booked Ooh. in between my two um, agencies, like between finding the two. Mm -hmm. So I was actually freelance when I booked NYX. Oh, and they really? DM me. Yeah, and they DM me on Instagram. Oh, shut up! Yeah, I right? swear, Instagram is like... It's yeah. such a powerful tool. It like, really is. It's amazing. What was it like, like, on set? On like set? First time, yeah, like it was like, set. it was nerve-wracking, and at first I was like, what if it's a scam? Like, yeah. <laughs> like I show up and I get kidnapped. Like, <laughs> um, but no, I got up on set, and everyone was like super nice, super cool, and made like my first campaign experience, like so Aww. much fun. Um, yeah, they're such a wonderful team, so hopefully y'all book me again. Mm, <laughs> that's, I believe I saw you in the Thor. That then, like right, cause how long have we been, like a year I now? I think you said yeah. that. Wait. Yeah, and then now it's in Target stores. So it's yeah. oh, girl, so we're we're at, at, it now. We were at, we were at, we were, were we in Glendale? Or we were like somewhere in like Burbank. Mm. And then I remember her saying like, I work with that girl. She's there. Oh, <laughs> and I shot with her. She famous. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so how did you get signed, around? How did I got signed to Natural? Mm -hmm. Natural models. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Instagram is an amazing tool. And I was kind of at my wit's end after my experience with my first agency. And I was like, okay, I'm either going to get signed to a new agency or like that's going to be it for me. So Natural was like my last like little hope. Mm -hmm. And I had submitted twice, never heard anything. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to give it one more shot. So what I ended up doing is I went on my story and I posted, hey guys, we can go ahead and tag Natural Models in my photos. That'd be amazing. Followers went crazy. Like, <laughs> they kept like tagging them, tagging them, and then that same day, the agent from Natural messaged me. She's like, "Hey, I'd love to have you come in for a meeting." That's literally how that's I got signed. Hella that's hella dope. I literally got signed by the end of that week. That's so. hella dope. That's yeah. why it's very good to support your friends, support <laughs> people yeah, in general, because you never know where just supporting them can lead to, or who's right. watching your Definitely. your stuff. Definitely. So support. And that's on period. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about being on set? Um, craft services. 
I mean, honestly, like, like, just being on set is a really cool experience. But y'all, you guys can always find me at the food table, always. <laughs> and low key, like, I've been feeling kind of shabby. Like, you, you, you can go ahead and help yourself. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Right. And low key, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, damn, that coffee cake looked good. <laughs> and then they bring like the worst stuff for models. Like, why yeah, do you bring like, all that? Right? <laughs> and then lunch, like, you want a salad? I'm like, no, we don't eat salads here. But thank you. <laughs> Girl, sweet too. Right. Sweet. But craft services yeah. is probably my favorite part of being on set. Have you worked with any models that you've like been, like, were inspired by? Like, yeah. Um, so, have you guys heard of Tiana Parker? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, yeah. so I so I've been like literally idolizing over her since mm-hmm. I found her page. I think she's so dope. Mm-hmm. She and is. then is I she was, from the Bay. She mm-hmm. is, yeah. <laughs> and then I showed up on set one day, and she was the other model, and I was like, oh my god, like fangirling <laughs> like, internally, and I was like, around, oh, cool, cool, cool. I walked into her, and I was like, I just want you to know, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, <laughs> Dora, Dora, um, Owusu. You guys know Dora? Yeah, Dora's dope. Also, I was such a big fan of her. I've been following her on Instagram. And I ran into her at a casting. We've been friends ever since. Any brands that you've always dreamed of working with, that you have worked with or currently working with, Mm -hmm. that you can speak about? There's one I can't talk about yet, but it's coming up. Um... But obviously Skims, that's like that was like a dream come true. Oh yeah, girl. So. NYX cosmetics still. Just like any job, honestly, because it's like when I first started modeling, I didn't really think of an end game mm-hmm. and what kind of jobs I wanted to book. So it's just amazing to be able to work for these brands, Nike, like stuff like that. It's just yeah. so unreal to me, you know. So every new every new booking is still like, exciting. Amazing. So exciting. How was it working on Skims? Because I saw Kim Kardashian posts you a lot on her freaking, mm-hmm. on her story, <laughs> on her Skims page. I was like, dang, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it, um, like, being on that set? Was it fun or, like, different? Or- it's really fun. Exciting. I think skin, the Skims team is probably, like, one of my favorite teams to work with. Really? Everyone's so chill, and it kind of just feels like, Got like my second family almost. Really? Yeah, everyone's super nice. I love them. Like their concepts are always so I well love thought it. out. I love it. Like, I so love amazing. It. Like something no one would think about. It's hella different. Even their e-com, which is like e-com can be super boring because it's like mm-hmm. the same generic like pose or whatever. Even their e-com is just like super different and like just just fun. I actually have a good time on set. Yeah. I'm sore as hell the next day, <laughs> but I always have a good time. Yeah. I really like the one where um, it was like a whole bunch of you guys and one she was like, um, I think you guys were all wearing like pink or something. Oh, the Valentine's Day shoot like with her in the middle and the gold. Oh, yeah, that was that was one of my favorite too. skin shoots I like too. That a lot. I Y'all, that was so cool it's so yeah. funny because I had just gotten like my car. Uh, <laughs> I just picked it up from the shop that mm-hmm. day and it was all clean. <laughs> and and they, I got on set and they were like, yeah, you can be covered in gold. I was like... Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you had a trash bag I could sit on. But it was yeah. so much fun. It was so much fun. What's some advice you would give, um, like, another model or someone, like, trying to achieve their goal as a model? Like, just um, starting out? Mm-hmm. I would say your portfolio is going to be your best friend. So you have to spend time perfecting your portfolio, shooting with as many different photographers as you can, just getting experience behind the camera knowing your body, knowing how to move. Um, it's stupid, but literally, y'all, like, I, I would stand in front of a mirror and I, like, mm-hmm. practice posing, like, and it helps a lot. I don't think it's stupid. I, I think it's, I think it's, smart. it's helpful, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, your portfolio is everything. Like, you cannot go to an agency without having one, a solid portfolio, and be like, hey, this is how I photograph, or hey, mm-hmm. like, this is how I move. So I would say a strong portfolio is How many thing. pictures do you think should be in a portfolio? Um... I wouldn't say necessarily like how many photos, but I'd say it should cover maybe like four different categories. Yeah. Beauty, fitness, lifestyle, and maybe like e-com, and then maybe like editorial. So like those five, I would say. I was just about to say, as a photographer, I think you need to show what other like 
genres of it you can do not just one Mm because then it's gonna be like you can only get booked for that exactly exactly thing so gotta be versatile advice you would give black models because you know how it's kind of hard i feel Mm -hmm. like it's a little struggle for black women Mm -hmm. um just being in the industry as a a hundred percent um i would say one of two things one know how to do your own makeup Mm. Mm-hmm. Know how to do your own makeup for sure. Mm-hmm. Like some of these makeup artists got you messed up. Yeah. Uh, to know how to do your own hair. Mm-hmm. So one of those things, and also like always carry a set bag with your foundation color in it because sometimes they pull out their darkest shade and it's yeah. like sis that looks ash white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So that and learn to speak up for yourself, and that's something that I'm still kind of. Yeah. juggling because I'm so like shy and stuff but sometimes if something mm-hmm. doesn't feel right like you know it's gonna stick up for you like you're gonna stick up for you you know um also push your agencies to sign more black models you know what I mean uh some agencies are kind of starting to get the hint a little bit but we need more we need more you definitely need to see <laughs> more black women and more yeah, campaigns for and like sure for sure big brands mm-hmm. i feel like everyone is like trying to get the same face mm-hmm. and so it's just like yeah. <laughs> where's the diversity i know and yeah. it's like if we all change ourselves and how will we even have diversity exactly exactly but then we want people who look like us but then we change ourselves to look like everybody else so exactly, exactly. and also the thing about being like a black woman, like in general, is can no one do it do it like us? Mm-hmm. Honestly, like no there's just something special about black women, and we need to like sit in that and realize that. What advice would you give your younger self to get maybe my younger self? Mm-hmm. Like, do you think there's something you could have done differently to be further, or? I think Honestly, you would have been in the same place either way. I think I would have been in the same place either way. Yeah. And that's not to be cocky or anything, I swear. But it's like I saw, I went all the way and saw the mm-hmm. dark side to modeling. And I realized, hey, I need to take a step back from this situation just to like fix myself before I came back and fell in love with it again. Mm. So I think that I wouldn't really change anything. Like my journey is my journey yeah. and it's not going to be the same with anyone's journey. Yeah. And that's something really important to know for also new models. Like a, one person's way of like getting signed and becoming a model is not going to be like the same as your like right. experience. You know? Every experience is different. I think that's... Um something that specifically our generation has like a hard problem um, like a problem with because we see everybody like winning excelling and just like doing what they want to do and just like even if they're faking it or not we just see that yeah so it makes us like oh my god why am i not there or Mm -hmm. you know exactly or try their way yeah exactly Exactly. they're who they know like none of that exactly and that's also because of instagram and social Mm -hmm. media like like people only see what they want you to see, you know. Like mm-hmm. no one sees the late nights, no one sees the tears. No, no just imagine nobody sees the tears. Yeah, I'm like no one sees like the money going in, like you mm-hmm. know, investing in yourself. Exactly. Like it's a struggle. Like it's not easy, you know. It's not. It's not kind of like there are some people who wake up and literally walk down the street and get signed. Yeah. That doesn't mean that's what's gonna happen for you necessarily. Yeah. Just to add to that, I feel like that's one thing that everyone needs to remember: just be patient. Especially mm-hmm. with yourself, and don't rush everything. And if you feel like an opportunity, it's like your first opportunity or something. If it doesn't feel right, don't take it. Like you know, just take your time with things because if you rush into something, it might not even be the right thing for you, and something better could have been coming, but you rushed it. Exactly. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys like this video. We will put Aram's um, Instagram handle in the link below, so you guys can catch up what she's doing. What brand she working with, <laughs> y'all? She gonna be big. Also, guys, let us know if there are any other models or people in the beauty industry that you would love to see us interview on the channel. And make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, yes. turn the post notifications on, and we will be back next time. Bye. 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 Bye.